Are you looking to be an international student but you do not know what course you want to study? Are you trying to do the right course so you don't have to struggle with, you know, looking for a job after your studies? Are you a foreigner looking to migrate to Ireland and you just want to know like the ineligible courses or ineligible occupations so you don't have to, you know, waste your time applying for jobs that wouldn't even get you an employment permit? If you're in any of these categories that I have just listed here today, then this video is for you and you should definitely do keep on watching. <music> My name is Ria and I'm a lifestyle and immigration content creator living in Dublin, Ireland. If this is your first time, thank you so much for seeing my face. I'm looking pretty fine today and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again so in today's video as you can see from the title and probably heard from my introduction I'm just gonna be listing out the ineligible occupations that you can't use to apply for an employment permit in Ireland so I have a good number of them I'll be reading out to you if you're ready let's go so the first one leisure and sports facilities managers I'm not going to be explaining if not the video is just going to be so long so just sit back and hope that you're or your career path is not amongst these ones if you know you're planning on migrating to Ireland so leisure and sports facilities managers travel agency managers residential day domiciliary care managers so like that's people that are working in private home cares pretty much property housing and estate managers garage managers when I say managers not like it necessarily have to be like your title would say manager just if you're working in that particular field so hairdressing and beauty salon shopkeepers wholesale and retail I want to be believe that would be like all this um, small value Audi and all these other stores that you know are in the county waste disposal and environmental managers other managers in other services not elsewhere classified which also includes betting shop managers graphic design managers library managers plant hire managers production managers with the exception of safety manager I think safety manager is pretty much the only kind of you know manager in this category that's able to apply for an employment permit in Ireland let's continue therapy professionals but well, there's an exception of chiropractors if you have to be like a member of the chiropractor association of ireland then you know you're eligible to apply for an employment permit we also have probation officers town planning technicians pharmaceutical technicians dental technicians and then other healthcare associate professionals um, not elsewhere classified which would also include like massage therapists sports therapists you know and a lot more and let me just say this here like the link to this list that i'm going to be speaking of because i wrote quite a number I'm going to be explaining or telling you guys about quite a good number of occupations that are ineligible for the employment permit but there is an extensive list I'm going to be leaving the link as always in my description box if you're interested in reading further or just reading on your own without having to hear my voice then you can you know click on the link in my description box and then it's gonna take you to an extensive list okay good so let's continue um we also have youth and community workers child and early years officers housing officers counselors police officers but then there is a, a bracket if you're a sergeant or any other title after sergeant then you're not eligible to apply for an employment permit fire service officers from a watch manager and below so anything above a watch manager under the fire service officers i think you're eligible to apply for an employment permit there's also the prison service officer the police community support officer fitness instructors legal associate professionals and then estate agents and auctioneers okay at this point if you haven't still given the video a thumbs up please do give it a very very big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't joined the family okay thank you very much let's continue so moving on we also have conference and exhibition managers and organizers we have public service associate professionals we have vocational and industrial trainers sorry with the exception of mobility instructors for the visually impaired we also have career advisors and vocational guidance specialists uh, with the exception of a career guidance teacher in secondary school so if you're a career guidance teacher in a secondary school here then definitely you can apply for an employment permit we also have inspectors of standards and regulators health and safety officers with the exception of construction safety officer i think this is the second time i'm saying like you know, a safety career path that's eligible the first one was safety managers can apply and now there is also construction safety officers that can also apply um national government administrative occupation this one now is going to be very broad you know i mentioned i don't know if you know but a couple of videos ago i mentioned that while there are some professions in the administrative fields that can help apply for an employment permit there are also some of 
them that would not you know allow you to apply for an employment permit right and then the next profession is credit controller bank and post office clerks bookkeepers payroll managers and wage clerks record clerks and assistants financial administrative occupation not elsewhere classified and um, store control clerks and assistants pension and insurance clerks and assistants library clerks and assistants human resource administrative occupation there is quite a good number of human resources roles because human resources is quite quite broad you know right there's quite a good number that you could actually still you know apply so they've made it specific here that the administrative roles under the human resources is what's probably ineligible for an employment permit okay sales administrators office managers legal medical company school secretary any secretary type that you are unfortunately is ineligible okay personal assistant receptionist typist any keyboard related occupation really is somewhat guaranteed as ineligible let me explain something when they say that a profession is ineligible it just goes to say that from their research and like the amount of people that they have in the country and their citizens and EU citizens they feel like they have quite a good number of people to fill up those roles so they don't necessarily need a foreigner that's why they are termed as ineligible not that maybe the occupation is not great or maybe it's not useful it's just that they want their own people to occupy roles like this you know in the country and not foreigners okay we also have um, occupations like TV video and audio engineers they are you know ineligible but I know that electrical engineer mechanical engineer and other kind of engineering that are even under the critical skills um, employment permit we have weavers and neaters tailors and dressmakers footwear and leather working traders butchers we also have butchers but with the exception of owners the people that are involved in meat those ones are like meat processing um, occupation they're actually you know eligible for an employment permit okay print finishing and binding workers fishmongers and poultry dressers bakers and floor conventioners chefs but with the exception of an executive chef with a minimum of five years experience head chef with a minimum of five years experience sous chef with a minimum of five years experience chef de party with a minimum of two years experience commis chef with a minimum of two years experience and you also have to be employed in an establishment other than like a fast food outlet store furniture makers and other craft wood workers glass and ceramic makers decorators and finishers florists nursery nurses and assistants child minders unfortunately is under the ineligible i can't understand why but unfortunately it is um, education support assistant veterinary nurses pest control officers ambulance staff with the exception of paramedics dental nurses care workers and home carers with the exception of a carer in a private home now let me explain this right because i know that quite a good number of my audience are interested in healthcare. so when they say care workers and home carers uh, that they are referring to people working in the private home care all right but if you're working as a carer in a in a home but if you're working as a carer in a private home then yes you can actually apply for an employment permit and i would suppose that would be people that are probably you know like living carers or like overnight carers things like that you know can actually apply for a private home but if you're in companies like let's say comfort keepers or let's say aunt home care if you know these companies if you don't know them check them up and their likes right they are not eligible for an employment permit at least not yet the government hasn't certified them yet the only kind of you know carers or assistants that the government has certified to apply for an employment permit would be those that are working in nursing home okay we also have air and rail travel assistants undertakers mortuary assistants sales and retail assistants telephone salesperson retail cashiers and checkout operators vehicle and part salesperson and advisors domestic operatives and um, collector salesperson and credit agent bar staff waitress kitchen kitchen assistant so pretty much like you know the hospitality industry so far has not been included under the general employment permit and then we also do have hospital porters shelf filers school midday and crossing patrol occupation people that are working in like laundry dry cleaning pressers postal workers meal sorters messages and carriers train and tram drivers and then there's also like taxi and cab drivers there's also bus and coach drivers all of the driving positions for now are under the ineligible list for employment permits okay there is also um real marine and air transport operatives market research interviewers customer service managers and supervisors the call and contact center occupations with the exception of employment of a person that's fluent in an official language apart from english okay that employment has to be supported by an enterprise development agency that is in a customer service and sales role with relevant product knowledge a specialist on 
online digital marketing or sales role and then especially language support and technical sales support role and sales supervisor so there are a little bit of uh, exceptions that we do have for the customer service you know related role it doesn't necessarily have to be like oh if you're in customer service you're ineligible if you're in a customer service that has this exception that i've just mentioned and also maybe you're fluent in a different language and you're probably doing your customer service like in let's say in french and not in english then of course you're eligible for an employment permit so just to conclude actually at this point i feel like i've actually mentioned quite a good number you know yet i still didn't mention everything because there's a lot more than i have just mentioned here like i said the link is in my description box below please do check it out and you know have a good read and also see if your course or your occupation is part of it if it is and you're still looking to migrate to ireland you can maybe switch your um, career path at this point and for those that are already here um, i hope this serves like as a guideline for you to know your occupation or your role at the moment you know it's eligible for an employment permit in ireland or not if you're also a foreigner and you've gotten a job be sure that the job that you have gotten is eligible for you to you know get an employment permit if not you will be denied and then you will not be able to come to ireland so pretty much that's it guys please don't forget to give this video a very very huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also you know turn on your notification bell down there beside the subscribe button so that you'll be the very first person to be notified every time i post a video yes that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned a thing or two i hope this video was somewhat very useful to you and get i'll see you guys in my next video but for now bye guys my name is ria and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah. ciao ciao bye guys <laughs> i don't know why i always laugh like this at the end <laughs>